Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm here to help you light up your gas burner and get cooking with Uni. We're going to look at your whole gas setup, including your propane tank, your regulator, your oven, and your gas burner. Let's get started. If you're having difficulty lighting your gas burner, the first thing to do is disconnect your regulator from your propane tank. If there is a buildup of pressure inside the regulator, it will stop gas from flowing properly. So when you remove the regulator to release this pressure, it's actually known as burping. After you do this, leave the regulator disconnected for at least 30 seconds before you reconnect. Before you reconnect, make sure that the valve and the regulator are both clean and free from debris. Next up, we're going to look at your regulator and hose and check that the connections between the propane tank and your gas burner terminal are secure. You can use a leak detector spray here and tighten up if you need to. You want to make sure there are no kinks or bends in the hose. Now we'll look at your oven and your setup. Firstly, check that your gas burner is assembled the correct way. You want to see the logo facing upwards. For Uni 3, we're going to work with the door off and the chimney cap on. For Uni Pro, we're going to have the vents closed and use the pizza door. Now we're ready for ignition. We'll start by fully opening up the gas flow at the tank and then we'll push in and very slowly turn the gas control knob anti-clockwise. There will be a slight delay as the gas moves through the hose and so it's important that this takes 5 seconds from 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock. When you hear that click of ignition, keep pressing and holding the control knob for 5 more seconds before you release. Now if you can hear gas but you're missing that click of ignition, you can light your gas burner with a match in the supplied matchstick holder. The better you look after your gas burner, the better it will perform. So store it indoors when it's not in use, so you can protect it from the elements. Next up, we're going to look at the gas burner's piezo. The piezo is the ignition tip that provides the initial spark to light the gas. If there's no spark, the gas won't light. The piezo should be positioned as shown. If it has moved, you should be able to carefully move the piezo back into position so it is 3mm away from the flame output. This should now spark your gas burner into action. You'll always be around your oven when the gas burner is firing, and it should run quietly, like this. If there's an issue with airflow, you might hear a louder sound, like this. If you do notice this, switch off your gas burner and wait 5 minutes before relighting. Remember, it is always the best step to cook in an area sheltered from wind. There we have it. I hope this helps and that you have a great time cooking with gas.